Clashes have broken out in Ukraine's capital. Police fired tear gas on pro-EU protesters outside the government building in Kiev. Police authorities say they responded to aggression on part of the protesters who threw a smoke bomb at the law enforcers. Over 100,000 people are rallying in Kiev over Ukraine's last-minute decision to abandon an integration deal with the EU. That was a move that split both the crowds in Kiev and the international community. As Artis Alexei Ryzhevsky reports next. Ukraine is divided again. The decision by the government to suspend the free trade agreement with the European Union polarized the country. These people participating in the largest protest rally I've seen in years in Kiev say that they completely disagree with this decision. They say the president must be impeached. There's a different rally just a few hundred meters from here. Supporters of the president say that uh, this decision was a pragmatic one and was a very correct one. The notion which is shared by many political analysts as well because looking at the possible disadvantages, economic disadvantages that Ukraine could have suffered from jo joining the free trade agreement it's easy to see why. First of all, the modernization of the Ukrainian machinery factories could have cost more than $100 billion altogether, the luxury which Ukraine cannot afford at the moment. So the factories are not modernized. They can get closed and people, tens of thousands may find themselves in the streets without work and create a social unrest. Another factor which was also crucial here is that in order to be in line with the European standards, the Ukrainian government had to increase prices for heating, electricity and gas for the ordinary population. Certainly this is something few in Ukraine would have liked. So looking at all this and other possible economic uh, disadvantages, Ukraine government decided not to sign this uh, deal. Uh, in, it was looking for some sort of compensations from the European Union, but the European Union did not offer any kind of compensations for, for the pot for potential uh, economic damages and losses. Uh, essentially, this is what caused the signing not to happen uh, next week. Uh, another interesting twist in the story happening during the week is that the European Union, in fact, pointed the finger at Russia, accusing Russia of blackmailing uh, Ukraine to sign out of this uh, free trade uh, deal. Um, the Russian president hit back saying that in fact it was the European Union who blackmailed Ukraine and who had been blackmailing Ukraine all throughout the negotiation process. Let's have a listen to the Russian president. When I heard that Ukraine has suspended, not cancelled, but suspended negotiations with the EU and wants to review everything, we heard a threat from the EU to Ukraine all the way up to organising mass protests. This is pressure and blackmail.